And welcome to What's for Dinner, where we cook quick, healthy, nutritious meals every single day. I'm Ken Kostick. And I'm Mary Jo Eustace. And Ken is right. We always make delicious dinners in about half an hour or so. Plus, we have a good time. We do. Don't we? Yes. Don't you think? Yeah, we bicker a little bit, but... We really get along. We love, love each other. Were you going to kiss me there? Mm, I not. thought you might. <laughs> I'm, I'm making the star entree tonight. I'm going to be doing a Moroccan-style red snapper. Does that sound delicious or what? Gets I lifted me. my leg and I got the rhythm going and everything. Keep them down. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that hurts. What are you going to do? Are you going to surprise I'm, us later? I have two surprises. Uh-oh. But I'm going to do a chilled tomato and basil soup. What's the first from surprise? Scratch. Do you want soup. to share? Oh, it's soup. Okay, yeah. and then something else. I am going to do something else, and if we have time in our half hour, yes. I might even do a third thing. Are you serious? Yes, because the prof I'm a true professional. You are such a professional and a performer and a scholar to boot. There, I That's said right. it. So if you'd like to pick up that pen, I'll give you the delicious ingredients to this wonderful fish dish. You will need three medium tomatoes, two cloves, half a cup of apple juice, one teaspoon of mild curry powder or paste, one quarter teaspoon ground cloves, one quarter teaspoon ground cinnamon, two apples chopped, one quarter cup chopped chives or green onion. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Half a teaspoon salt, um, one quarter cup of chopped parsley, half a teaspoon black pepper, one leaf de bay, and four red snapper fillets. <laughs> Anyways. Rachel. Okay. I want to tell you something. Oh, dear. This soup, one of my biggest problems in life is not only the food processor. And but the medication <laughs> running out. That's a big problem. It's, it's filling the food processor. Yeah. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this chilled soup step by step, but I'm going to put it in a big bowl first and then do it in segments. Piecemeal. There, I, I told you. <laughs> Which makes sense. You're not going to cram it all in. You're going to do it professionally well, you and know, properly. You know, there were a few shows. Yes. Okay. Where the, uh, we, I filled the... Food processor up too much. Yes. Ruined some of my beautiful Yeah, Armani and that's clothes. not good. You had to have no. a few wig changes as well. So that's that right. was a bit that's scary. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up my tomatoes and my apples, and I've got some curry paste and garlic and cinnamon and cloves, and I'm just going to put that in a pro food processor, uh, chop it all up, and then mm -hmm. we'll put our fish in that and cook it in the oven. Kenny, it is yes. so simple and easy. It's one step cooking. It is. Essentially. And yes, then dear. you may have some time. To? to help me. I will. Okay. You know what? This is a tip. It's coming to me. It's a good one. It pertains to both our dishes. Yes. Do you like Tomatoes. this look over here? Uh, is you're it working? trying very hard. I shaved my legs for this Are you show. wearing hose? No, I don't have to. <laughs> you should, uh, you know, look into that. Uh, what I was going to say is... <laughs> I've got uh, hose on. I know you do. Knee highs. Never refrigerate your tomatoes because it, it takes away from the flavor. You it want does. them out to, to ripen properly. So don't refrigerate them. Okay. Okay. In reference to my soup, oh, what dear. I'm doing is I'm just chopping up the vegetables, putting them in this bowl. I'm going to put all the ingredients in, and then step by step, oh, I'm going to fill up the food. Oops, it's gone. The food processor, and grind it up, <laughs> pulp it up. Are you now? And then allow it to chill. And that's how simple this soup is. Oh, it's easy, and it's going to be delicious. And the flavor of basil with tomato 
is it's wonderful. It's a very nice combination, yes. don't you think, sir? And it's very low fat. Yes. You should know that. It is. It's in the new cookbook, the Caribbean cookbook. You have a new cookbook? That's right. Get out. Yes. No, I know you do, and it's a good one, isn't it? Right. That's Recipes the one you stomped cruise. over last week. No, honey, that was the one before. That's right. We kicked it around the studio. I would you never... did, too. You know what? It was a bit of a tribute to you. It was. It was. Somehow I didn't take it that I way, I know. Though. But a year later, we've gotten over it, haven't we? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Please say we have. My goodness we gracious. We have. I love you, Mary Jo. I, you know what? I love you, too, in a weird way. Mm. Oh, oh, yes. oh, Salary. Oh. Use every part of the salary. Use the leaf for garnish, Everything. something behind the ear, a little ode to perfume. You now, can... you saw me just throw away the end of it. Uh, <laughs> so? <laughs> it's just, you know, I, I didn't want to keep this part, sweetie. Okay, honey, okay. you know what? You're the big cheese. Whatever, whatever yeah. works for you, I support wholly. Okay. In goes the celery. Okay. There this is going to be yummy. I love chilled soups, Did you don't know you? that celery in the 17th century was used for medicinal purposes? Only. Mm. So, instead of Prozac, a little celery might get you through the day. What do you think? <laughs> Wouldn't help me. I know, honey. Got to keep the leaf for that. Okay, I'm going to put my tomatoes in the food processor. Right. Of course you are. Of course I am, because okay. I'm a professional. And in goes a Just can of stewed tomatoes. Go figure. We we'll have figure. some leftover tomatoes, and again, this is this is what I want to instill in you when you're making a soup, any type of a soup, a chilled soup. If you're doing fruit, look in lots of fruit. We do lots, lots of fruit. Lots of fruit. Fruit soups. Yep. And uh, look in your fridge and see what you have. Yeah, yeah. Kenny, I've got a bit of a question, and, I, and I'd like your professional opinion on it. Yes. I'm going to put apples into my um, my marinade. Should I leave the skin on for fiber? Or you know peel? what? I wouldn't bother. I'm going to leave it on. I, I just would leave it on. Now, we're working with... Don't um, have time. No, we don't have time. We're working with some curry today, and you can get commercial curry. And there's two type of curries. There's a standard and the madras, and that's hotter. Hotter. Hotter Much than hotter. The normal. And Bernie, you can Bernie. Al Bernie, Bernie. Yeah. Bernie, yeah. Bernie. You can also get curry paste, which <laughs> is excellent. So it's a good idea to experiment with the powder and the paste. See right. what you like, whatever you're comfortable with. Use it. That's right. Do you support me on that one? I do. Of course you do. And I'm not talking hose. I know, baby. Okay. Okay. Because you've got mine on. I, I seem to have a thing about women's hose. Ladies' pantyhose? <laughs> yeah. Go figure. Uh, yeah. Do you like them? I, they, well, they just cut me in half I, in I, the circulation. Okay. You know what? I'm going to say something on national television. It, I'm going to say it. You know what? I think it's about time. Go. It's yours. <laughs> How do you guys wear that stuff? Well, I never wear them. You do. You um, had them on yesterday. No, no, no. You, Mary Jo, you had a you had a pair of hose on yesterday, See, and I was I, looking at them. Yeah. Did you like them? They were black. I know. I don't like hose with my jock strap. I find it gets in the way. Don't you? <laughs> I just don't. It's a personal thing. And you know what? <laughs> I think a lot of them would believe that. <laughs> well, that's true. Okay. In goes the non-fat yogurt Excellent. because we're going to make this non-fat. Good. So I've added in my dill, my fresh basil. Oh. my uh, non-fat oh. yogurt. Oh, yes, sweetie. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to, is it possible with this chilled soup to cook it first and then and then serve it cold? Absolutely. Oh, thank you and for that support. And then what you have is you have a chilled soup oh. and a hot soup. At the same time. Yeah. You winked at me. I did not. <laughs> Maybe it's a surgery that you had because your eyes are losing a little I bit. I think so. It's yeah. a bit tight back here. I know, but you did wink at me, and I do like that. I did that. not wink at you. Okay, I'm just A little bit of salt and pepper. Great. Now, what I poured in there, I want you to be aware, what I poured in there was a bit of vegetable stock. Okay, good. This is vegetable stock in this. And container. vegetable stock is really easy to make. You can use any vegetable that you have right. and it's a lot quicker than making a, a, a chicken uh, stock because it only takes about 30 to 40 minutes. So it's quite economical now, time wise. I want to tell you something. Go ahead. I'm done. Are you done? Done. Are you, you going to have a lie down? Done. Oh, got a trivia question from my good friend Ken Caustic. Why can't I ever give the trivia? Well, okay, do you want to ask me one? Do you have one? No, because you forgot it already, <laughs> didn't you? I saw you over there with your notes. <laughs> I had one, but I'm going to ask one later. Okay, okay. okay. What is, mm -hmm. put it on, put on yeah. your thinking cap, what yeah. is a BAP? B-A-P. A BAP? Yeah. B-A-P. Yeah. You know this. You know what? You I know do. this. I'll tell you when we come back. Oh, I can't wait. Holding my breath for that one. It's going to be exciting. Look at this one. Welcome back to What's for Dinner. I'm just preparing my delicious sauce for my snapper. I've got apples and tomatoes, and I put in my apple juice, and I'm going to add my curry powder, my cinnamon, my cloves, and some chives. Now, you know, I have a bit of a substitution. If you didn't have oh! chives... No, honey, it's mine, sweetie. If it's... you didn't have chives, you no, could no, use no. scallions. Honey, you're doing the tip. 
I can't that, believe you did that. You're, you're doing the tip, the fish Do tip. You, no, I am not doing the fish tip. The fish tip is yours. You are doing it. Touch it's... my snapper. Come on. <laughs> I will do not. The, come touch... on, do the fish no, tip. No, I'm not doing a fish tip. Okay. No. Um, Kenny, can I repeat the trivia question for you, though? Okay. Kenny, what's a BAP? You know what it is? Uh, it's a very rare form of grape grown in Portugal for an after dinner wine. Kenneth Costa, come here and kiss me. No, I won't. No, it's a Scottish bun. My goodness. Is it really? It's a Scottish bun. Where did you get that from? I You're got not even it Scottish. From my Scottish friend. Dwayne told oh, me. Okay. okay, I'm gonna add my curry paste. I want people to know what I'm doing. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh my god. Other than standing here looking like a fool. Okay. I have just got some rapini oh dear. from the supermarket. Excellent. I'm gonna chop it up. Rapini is a combination of broccoli, turnip. And what else? Broccoli, turnip. And a green leaf. Cabbage. Cabbage. Oh, boy. Yes. Has a very bitter taste. But what we're going to do today is we are going to, or I'm going to, You're saute going to. it up. Oh, Kenny. With some butter. Hey. Oh. Garlic. That is so excellent. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You're there looking I, at me funny. I can't help it. You just look so good now, lately. Now, Mary Jo, I have to ask you something. Oh, dear. Is it personal? No. Okay. What? I know everything. Everything. Yeah. I know you do. I've sold it to the <laughs> rag mags. I'm just... Ex oh, dear. Now, Mary Jo, yeah? what did you think of our, our new neighbor the other day? I liked him. Interesting. He was very uh, reserved, yeah. right? Yeah. But I thought he was a good guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nice garden they have. Oh, beautiful won't garden. Won't be able to uh, be lifting mm. stuff out of there. No, we won't. So. Okay, hey, now. Um, uh, trust me, okay, I know. Okay, go. Stand back. Oops. Oh, Stand is that back. a problem? Okay. Oh, I know. Oh, 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 how'd you do that? Come here. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. I'm going to uh, turn up the heat, so to speak, and uh, chop this up. This is great. And I've got my snapper. Sorry. Sorry. I've got my snapper fillets right here, and I'm going to pour it over, and I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes. Do you want me? Okay, I'll do it. Fine. He's not going to do the fish uh, tip of the day, so I'll do it. You're not do comfortable it. with fish, are you? I wasn't supposed to do the fish tip. Yeah, we're going to talk about this after. <laughs> okay. Okay? The fish tip is if you're handling fish, uh -huh. just like garlic or anything smelly, um, run your hands under cold water, and then the smell won't absorb into your, into your, into your hands. So you made a tip out of when you're handling fish and you, you have a fish smell on your hands, wash yeah. your hands. Uh, well, you some, made a tip some out of, of that. Your, some of your tips, like if you're going <laughs> to marinate your meat, do it an extra five minutes longer. Like, hello, <laughs> for more flavor. Come on, that okay. was not a bad one. I'm going to let my butter because I'm going to saute the rapini. I'm going to let it melt gently and do the viewer mail oh, at the same yeah. time. Look, and you know what? Yeah. Get on to that yeah, because no, but I look, need this. Look at how good that looks. Gosh, you know, I'm trying to be nice to him. You can it's all tell hour. that I am. It's a half hour. In front, I've got some salt and pepper. And I'm going to put this on my fillets and then get my fish in the oven. Oh. Okay, like enough already. Right already. Dear Mary Jo and Ken, oh. I just wanted to write a letter to congratulate you both on getting married. What? How did they know? No. It's a <laughs> on the secret, excellent but the job the you do on what's for dinner. I enjoy watching you combine energy, enthusiasm, and good oh. food to create recipes. You are much more fun to watch than. Uh, well, we won't say that. Okay. Yeah. And. Um, in grass growing. And I really do know that Ken doesn't wear a wig because I saw him in person. Really? I don't see that in the letter. <laughs> Anyways, this is a very nice letter from Courtney Richmond. Thank you very much. And I thought uh, you were going to say Courtney Love. Courtney Richmond. Ken? And we uh, thank you very much for watching That's the show. That's a very sweet letter. What do you think? That looks Smell great. Smell it. Hey. Smell the fish. It smells incredible. Yes. And maybe you want a garnish? Well, after it's done, oh, sweetie, okay. I'm going to garnish at the end. And it goes into the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. Okay. So that is very yummy in my tummy. And I'm going to wash out the Cuisinart for my friend Kenny. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hello, Hello, everyone. Hello oh. there. Hello. Neighbor. Hello. I'm James Sibyl. I've just moved in next door. Oh, uh, okay. And I know my chap was uh, coming over. I hope he didn't bother you, really. No, he no. didn't bother us no, at all. No, he's a lovely fellow, but a bit slow. He's a bit slow, but he's very sweet. Oh, yes. Well, I've just moved in. We've just completed the menagerie, yes. and there's a huge... We've built a huge ramp to slide down. So if you want to come out, slide down into this pool I'm building. Do oh. Oh. Please drop in. I oh, know that you love would a good slide. I, know I, do. I, I do. I, I do. I do. 
I smell snapper. I smell snapper. Do can I? Can you smell the snapper? My God. This, man knows, this woman, excuse me, knows her fish. Kenny wasn't sure, but I've got my snapper in the oven. Oh, really? yeah. Maybe you'll stay for snapper. I don't well, know. Well, I might stay and snap up some snapper. Oh, dear. I, get a chance. I also understand you're putting up a fence. Yes. Well, you know I... what? Because there are some nasty thieves around this neighborhood. Good fences make good neighbors. Who said that? Dame Sybil? Well, you yeah, have... Robert Fonzie? Frost. Oh, no, sorry. not Fonzie. Right. Fonzie, I know now, Fonzie is one of your great American philosophers. I'm not Dame sure. Dame Sybil. Yes. Uh, since you've moved into the neighborhood, I should warn you about one thing. What well, a couple it? things. The what neighbors. It? The okay. neighbors. We have a little guy who lives across the street. His name's Benjamin. Uh -oh. What kind of car do you drive? Well, I drive, uh, actually, I don't drive a car. I have a Zeppelin, Perfect. which is parked above my house. You have a Zeppelin? Perfect. Yes, Like I a live, balloon? Yes, a huge, vast Zeppelin. It was sold to me just after the war. Mm. It was very nice. Because oh. he put sand in George's gas tank last summer. Um, well, uh, you know, but he meant it. He thought he was way. putting gas in. Sweetie, yeah, yeah. Well. Uh, this is for your soup because you're going to sure. puree your soup, aren't you? And I'm going to do the soup, as I mentioned, in parts. Oh, okay. I'm okay, gently sautéing my rapini. Ooh, and you know I what? You Instead of that. standing there looking absolutely lovely, you are wow. beautiful. You oh, well, maybe you can you. chop some garlic. Or you, no, not myself. garlic. Not for a guest. Not garlic. He can no. chop. She. Well, I'll rinse my fingers in cold water. Before yeah. I chop it. Oh, so okay. you're comfortable taking off your gloves? Actually, no. Okay, Sybil, darling, can you can you chop those? For Would you me? like me to just? Can I hold your hand back? Oh, just it's for very, a very careful. There's a lot of very important things in there. What's in I'm here? A, I'm an actress. A lot of the tools of my trade are kept in there. Oh. A large mallet, uh, a piece of wood, uh -huh. uh, some corn. You know, during the war, we didn't really have this kind of oh, a lot that's of right. variety you were in of the food. War. Yep. Um, yes, I was. Would you like a cup of coffee? Uh, I'd love a cup okay, of coffee. Okay, Kenny. No, okay. Kenny, Kenny is busy. Kenny's busy. Sorry, Kenny's dame. Doing a, he's doing a cooking show. It's during the war. You're one hell of a dame. Yes, thank I you. I just want to say thank that. Thank you very much. Well, I'm an actress, of course. I have been for over 120 years. <laughs> and uh, No kidding. You know, I've seen I, all your movies. During the war, during the war, we didn't have any food, really. We didn't have the variety. What we huh? would do is... Well, something you. kept you in good shape. I know. Well, you, let me tell you. We would boil a large lump of wood. For oh. about a week, and then we'd all have a wood eating party. Uh -huh. so it gets very here. soft and delicious, and it's awfully heavy on the starch, however. Yeah. So, you know, look at That's how you maintain your full figure. Well, thank you very and much. And it looks wonderful. Jane Russell and I often mud wrestle for the amusement of people and so raise money for charities. Kenny and I do that, too. Yeah. Strangely. Um, I'm going to put some olive oil on this and some fresh herbs and grill this on the grill. How do you feel about that? I think you better get on to it. Just some, oh, I'm yeah. cleaning up after you. My goodness gracious, I'm doing what I can. Well, I, ap I appreciate it. Aww. I think you should appreciate it more. You should buy her a nice gift. Oh, yeah. I like that. An acre really? of land where she can live and roam free. And grow. Yeah. Yes, and swell. Thank Oh. And like swell? It. Easy. <laughs> it's a lovely coffee. Would you like it? It's yes. black. Did you want cream or sugar? I didn't know. N never. <coughs> never destroy a good cup of coffee with oh. any kind of additive. Oh, thank you very much. During the war, we didn't have coffee. We just had muddy water. No, so that's, of course, what you had. Now, I've Delicious. just got some olive oil, and I'm going to put a little thyme on my pita. And, oh, Ooh. and then I'm going to put it on the grill. It's going to be very fabulous. I'm Nothing lovelier. To, I'm going to puree my soup and chill it. Excellent. And when we come back from the break, we're talking soup, we're talking Dame Sybil, we're talking a lot. A lot, a lot of things. Wonderful. Wonderful. And welcome back to What's for Dinner. I'm just completing my rapini, which is Ooh. a very favorite uh, vegetable in Europe. Oh, Kenny, get it's out. Not a, it's not as popular here well, in Italy, North America. It's, it's big in Italy. Very much. Let's be the honest. Italians wear Try it, it as well. Do they really? Do they? Big, long strands of it on See, the front of the bodies. Now, Dame Sybil, you chopped my chives for me, didn't you, quite nicely? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank I've you. I trained as a chive chopper. Of course you were. And yes. I'm going to retrieve my fish. Hey. My snapper. And while you're doing that. Yeah, I'm off. I'm going to talk to Dame, the Sibble Dame. Sybil, dear. <laughs> yes. Sibyl. And then I'm going to go get my soup. Okay, whatever you're comfortable because with. Because what I did, you saw what I did. Yes. In different loads uh, with mm. the food Ooh. processor. And I'm sorry about getting a little bit on you. Well, that's all right. You know, okay. all of my clothes are made to be hosed off. In oh, the middle. Perfect. In the middle. Look perfect. at my fish. Doesn't that smell delicious with the garlic and the cinnamon? Mm. And, oh, I yummy. pureed the soup. I'm oh, still, I'm on, I'm oh, I still on my soup. <laughs> and I then know. I put it in the fridge to refrigerate. Are you going to retrieve? 
I'm going to get it now. I'm going to get it Brilliant. now. Brilliant. Yes, isn't that wonderful? He is a genius. He is a genius. Some say I know. He's I'm not. not Some just people a pretty say he's face. an idiot savant, but I say he's a genius. Yes, he can do more than one thing well. Here's my chives on top that you cut for me, which I really appreciate, and my fish just smells magnificent. Dame? Yes. Look at this soup. Uh, I don't think I can eat all of that. Oh. You have to get a really? smaller bowl for oh, me. Okay. This was just for Mary Jo. That's oh, my I portion. See. Oh, well, I yeah. didn't mean to interfere there. <laughs> oh, so he's okay. chuckling to himself like a schoolgirl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's the rapini. Mmm, rapini. There we go. Oh, Kenneth. Look at that. I'm going to retrieve my, uh, my uh, pitas. Yes. And the simple thing about that, Dame. Yes. And you could do this at home, right uh, next and door. And I might there. just run home right. quickly and do it. Is you can just grill it, mm. and it's minutes. While that's grilling, you could be doing something else in your the nails, kitchen. Your nails, your hair. I could Maybe. be leaping in the air and clinging to a vine. Not oh. that you need any beauty secrets. No, I have only one secret: look beautiful. That's right. Inside that's and out, though, isn't that's that important? Right. Well, I think you start with the outside works it radiates. On that. Moves. Mary Jo works on that every day. And it's paying off, don't you think? Yes. It certainly is. Thank you so much, sir. Let's just do a bit of a recap because we did okay. some very interesting <clears throat> dishes today here. Indeed. Can you? I wonder if the dame could. Uh... Could you recap? She could. Well, we have a lovely cold uh, soup, a tomato and basil soup. Oh, oh nice. see, look at that. I mean, a, a delicious, Don't you love that? A delicious <laughs> tomato. red snapper. Yes. yes. And lovely rapini. It's right. sautéed rapini, if I'm right. Can with you garlic, name me five, Dame Sybil, for a lovely There's recap? There's five. You keep another, take five back and use Thank them you. for something how, lovely. How about laying one on the lips with me? Well, my innards flutter with a throb of desire for you, Ken, but I don't think this is the place or the time. Thank that, you, Dame. That's how it affects Mary Jo. Oh, too. not <laughs> quite, dear. Sweetie, let's go to the table and we're going to start our dinner. All right. Over there. Where we go. That is Quickly. a very becoming dress on you. It well, it's is. becoming more and more. Oh, you know it's I mean. beautiful. Thank you so much. Love oh, the you're color. Welcome. You can get one yourself, shall I? Oh, could I? There I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Look at Excellent. this. Excellent. There's more well, material on the boat. I want to thank everybody for joining us here on What's for Dinner you're today. Not, we on, cooked up a scrumptious dinner as well as we had a guest. Thank you, Dave Sybil. Until Woo! the next time, keep cooking. <laughs>